Hello, and this is our second week in our study on the book of Deuteronomy. Now remember, if you're in Royal Rangers, even if you're not, if you like or comment on this video, let me know that you watched it or send me an email, send me a message. Uh, we will send you the Deuteronomy Bible badge if you do all of the weeks. Now, what is the book of Deuteronomy? Well, it's in the Old Testament and it's written by Moses. Now, you remember Moses was sent by God to Egypt to save God's people out of slavery. He did this. They parted the Red Sea. They continued to travel uh, into what God was going to give them, the promised land. Now, this took a very long time. In fact, it took 40 years for them to prepare and be ready to enter into God's promised land. The book of Deuteronomy is helping that next generation, those people who maybe weren't even born in Egypt or maybe born in the desert, in the wilderness, to know about the amazing things that God did. And when we talk about the next generation, do you think every generation needs to know about God? Absolutely. And this is a great reminder for us today. I want to start in chapter 4 in verse 5. It says, See, this is Moses talking, See, I have taught you decrees and laws as the Lord God commanded me, so that you may follow them in the land you are entering to take possession of it. Observe them carefully, for this will show your wisdom and understanding to the nations who will hear about all these decrees and say, surely this great nation is wise and understanding people. Isn't that incredible? Moses is helping us understand here that we need to take God's word seriously. Now, if you've been in Royal Rangers and even in Girls Club, you may have heard us say this phrase, God's way is the best way. There's just no way around it. And there's so many examples in our lives where we often find ourselves testing that. Classic example, you're at home, right? It's COVID, you're locked in your house, right? It's kind of crazy. You and your siblings are playing or maybe you're playing by yourself and you accidentally break something very important. You got options here, right? You could tell your mom, your dad, your foster mom, foster dad, grandma, grandpa, whoever's home, you could tell them the truth about what happened and you know you're gonna get in trouble. Or you could lie about it and maybe you won't get in trouble if they believe you. Don't even try to lie because they always know, right? But if you did, right, you lied, and let's say they believed you and you didn't get in trouble. That might seem like the best way, but the truth is you're going to have a lot of guilt and a lot of stress in your life because you weren't honest as God's words command us to not lie, right? In fact, next week in the book of Deuteronomy, we're going to talk about 10 commandments that God has given us for life. And the truth is these commandments are amazing. These aren't rules to limit who we are and who we can be. They're guidance to know how to live the best life. And that's what I want you guys to have, the most fulfilling, full life you can have. And God's word helps us do that. So be watching for our next video week three of our series in Deuteronomy. You guys are awesome. Remember to comment or like on this to let me know you watched it.